You know Dami go get to the T. You know Dami go get to the T. Y'all know Dami go get to the T. Period. Guys, so if you noticed, I did post a live video. Um, and if it hasn't posted yet, that's because it's waiting to post and will be posted soon. But I just wanted to give you guys a quick update about Donna Lombardi. As you guys know, um, she was recently dating Alex from the shop. She met him, the V Slayer, honey. Because they had a little some some happen up in the bathroom, if you know what I mean. And from then, he thought that he could take over her world, honey, after Maxwell left her in the dust and she had a fight with his baby mama. Well, now Donna is promising us that she is not only going to clear the air about all of that, but that she's going to be waking up what she knows inside and out about the cast. And baby, I cannot wait until she do it. You guys know that there's recently been rumors that Tati has been dating Alex. And so I suppose that Donna is just through and done with the whole franchise. And she is ready to do pretty much a tell-all in the sense of she's going to be letting us know all of the industry secrets. But here's a video that I once made about these two, if you guys uh, remember or not. Uh, this particular story about Donna and Alex. Hey, I do not have a lot of time to be talking today on this blog. I am on my way to an inventions meeting. So let me just say this. Alex, okay, from Black Ink Crew is apologizing to Donna after portraying her as a DV suspect last night on Black Ink Crew. Now, what we saw was we saw that Alex and Donna hadn't seen each other for a week. We saw that they had left the house in Atlanta and they had gone their separate ways. He was in a hotel room. He called the production crew and requested a separate room and said that he was being abused. The woman that is the producer of the show came out at the end of the show when Alex was seen with bruises and scratches on his face and was crying for him and asking him, why did you call me then? So like she was saying, this is not good for you. This is a toxic relationship. This is so unhealthy for you. And Alex agreed with her at the time. And shout out to Juicy T Uncensored because I was just rolling by, saw the screenshot and decided to talk about this, by the way. Okay. Um, and by the way, Rashida Ali from It's On Site have blocked me from her blog. So girl, F you. Anyway, um, I feel like now Alex apologizing is null and void. It doesn't even matter. He said, I apologize for betraying our relationship and lying on you. That blank was corny. Donna da Don Dada. Now, I think that Donna made Alex do this. Obviously, Alex, after everything came out that they were in a DV relationship, um, Alex did get back in the car with her after kind of hammering it home that she did put her hands on him. He got back in the car with her. Okay, and they drove off. And obviously, they're still together. I did try to see if they were still following each other last night. Um, I was unsuccessful in finding that out. Only because uh, my brain got a little bit dismantled with everything else that was going on um, on the Internet. There was a lot happening last night, um, and I was just watching the show. Okay, that young man got um, convicted as guilty for what he did to his baby mama. Go on my community tab, and you'll see who I'm talking about. Anyway... But I feel like Donna made Alex write this apology. I feel like Donna is dead wrong for the way that um, she acts on the show. I think that she thinks her behavior is okay, though, and that's the reason why she continues to, to act in the way that she acts. Um, I feel like um, Alex is most indefinitely in a relationship where he feels like he has to tough up, bulking up. And we got the chance to see that when he was talking to the other young man and he was saying that she's a female that everybody wants. She's an alpha female. You have to be this way and be that way. That means that he's trying to conform around her and around what it is that she wants him to do. And when it when it comes down to him not doing what she wants him to do, she's going to put his hands on him. And that's plain and clear. Him apologizing right now on the Internet doesn't change what we saw last night. The fact of the matter is that you hammered it home. Just because y'all made up don't mean you get to change what happened. We all saw the scratches, the bruises, the scrapes, and the scars. We all heard you say with your own mouth that it was caused by Donna. And I don't believe that you made it up one bit. Especially because that producer came on camera, broke the fourth wall, and started crying. Donna need to go to a class or two. Okay? I been. You gotta go too. Stop.
Okay, I don't know who ever thought in all the wide world that Donna and Alex were going to last from Black Ink Crew, but it seems that now they've announced that their engagement is kind of on the out. Like, this engagement is pending, and I don't know if any of you guys saw this coming, but I mean, duh. They only got engaged at Walter's wedding reception when emotions are flying high and people might be a little faded, okay? But anyway... Since then, um, you know, things have gone awry. So we all know that we met these two together after Donna was dating that dude, Max, who clearly didn't treat her right. She got married to him while he was in prison, so we knew she didn't have the highest self-esteem. So when Alex came and he had his gold teeth and his skinny little body, there she go, got to jump on everything in the shop. So we already knew that was going to happen. And it happened, okay? It happened so horribly that she ended up in a bathroom stall with Alex and I think that Donna ended up being with Alex because I feel like she would have been embarrassed to be in a whole bathroom stall with a young man and not be with him like you know what I mean that's how I think it started for her but anyway uh Alex and Donna got engaged eventually like I said and now Donna and Alex have announced that they are taking a little break now, recently, Alex had apologized to Donna. He said that uh, he wanted to become a better man. And they were doing a, uh interview over the radio with Charmaine from Black Ink Crew, Chicago. And Donna said, our engagement is on a hiatus right now. We still fiancés, I guess. I mean, are we? And Alex said, you tell me. You're the one who's coming up with all this stuff at this point. So then Donna goes on to say, we still engage. I just need... I need to just be reactivated. It's deactivated right now. It's still there. It's just like needs like new batteries. She continues. We're not, we're not trying to let the, you know, we're not trying to let it go. It's been a lot of togetherness, like a lot of togetherness. So we're not trying to let it break us. And I think we good. She said, I mean, we're working to become better. He says, I'm working to become a better man, a better fiance. So, I mean, as you guys know, they do have kind of an open relationship where they end up at the uh, strip clubs and they end up hanging around like these two are not. Come on now. He probably more than likely uh, slept with a girl that they slept with together by himself. You know what I'm saying? But anyway. OK, well, I got sidetracked because somebody interrupted my video. But let me just say this. Um, Alex is saying that he is stubborn in his ways and all that stuff. She says he sucks at communication and that he holds his emotions in until he explodes. So aside from cheating, because that's always the number one thing, right? They probably just really do have a serious communication problem. I don't see cheating being an issue seeing as to how Donna sleeps with women as well. But what I do see being an issue is him not communicating something. And I think that that is what I was saying in the statement that I made before, as in he slept with somebody they both slept with. You understand what I'm saying? Like, you're not telling me what's going on. And that's a major problem in a lot of relationships. So I would say that's a normal problem. Anyway, they said they still on projection to at least try that to get something else. And I got to say, I'm not really surprised, but I didn't expect for all that to be going on between Donna and Alex. Even though there was some DV between Donna and Maxwell, I didn't expect for it to be between Donna and Alex because they presented as such a uh, in love couple. You know, she was down for him. He was down for her. So I really didn't expect all that. But I want to know how many of you are going to be looking forward to a tell-all from Donna. I don't know what it's coming in the form of. It could be a video, a live, a book, whatever. But anyways, if you guys didn't check out my last video or my upcoming video, because sometimes YouTube will hold your videos. But if you haven't checked that out, it is basically about Donna saying what she wants in a man now that she has been done and finished with Alex. Leave comments down below. Let's get into the discussion. Make sure you guys like and subscribe.